Hi, so in this tutorial I'm going to take a look at um, increasing the size of pads on some of the components that are provided in the EagleCAD library, uh, specifically for when we're doing home etching. So uh, this board here, this is the open source drum kits uh, drum sensor printed circuit board uh, that we've been designing in the, uh, the magazine. And um, I've not yet uh, routed the, um, uh, the, the signals to create the actual uh, copper. But as you can see here on this resistor and uh, on the capacitor, two components from the RCL library, their um, they're pads shown in green. This, so this is the copper uh, at the moment available both on the, on the top and bottom layers. It's very thin. This board is, each one of these divisions here, each one of these grids is, or every two, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's 0.1 of an inch. So this is blown up quite significantly. So if you come to etch this at home, there's a good chance that that etch is not actually going to come out very well. You might, um, you, you might over etch it accidentally and lose it. And uh, it's also possible that um, you might use a slightly larger drill and lose all of the copper there uh, completely. So we're going to we're actually going to create two new package variants for these parts. We're not going to uh, change the existing pads because these are still quite valid if you're going to get a printed circuit board manufactured professionally. Um, it's just for home etching that uh, that is not terribly good. So we're going to go into the uh, library. So I go back to the control panel and I go file, open, not a project, but one of the libraries. And as I mentioned, those two components are in the RCL library, that one there. So we'll open it up and take a look. And if you're wondering what those uh, parts actually were, I've already written this down but we can come back to our board layout, click the info button, and then come and ask it what component this is. And it tells us that it's uh, it's a resistor, its package variant is 0204 slash seven, and it's in the RCL library. And likewise, the capacitor is a CO2, blah, 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 in the RCL library on the capacitor. So, Back to the RCL library. Let's um, let's call up uh, the resistor package first. So let's call it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the group command to select that package. I'm just going to basically cut and paste it. And this is how you cut and paste in Eagle Pack Add. So I've selected everything there. I go edit copy. I'll now click on the package icon again, type in the name for my new component, 0204 slash 7 dash H. That's pretty clear. And I'll go package. And OK. We're saying, do we want to create this new package? Go okay, Yes. And I can now go edit, paste. Uh, if we zoom in, I should just put it there. That's it. That's created the new package. I now want to associate that package with um, a resistor. So I can go to the device and select the European resistor. That's the family of resistors that I've been using. Go OK. And here you can see it's a device. So, of course, a device consists of a symbol and a package or a number of packages, or a large number of packages, of course. And um, we're just going to add a new package. So click on new, select the package you want to add. That's our one, Hit OK. And that's added it. The symbol here is telling us there's a problem because we haven't associated the pads of that new package with the symbol. So we just click on the connect and it shows us pin names, pad names. It's a very simple component. Pin one goes to pad one, pin two goes to 
pin two. So we can just click connect, connect, and okay. And that is it. There's a green tick here to say everything is fine. Um, good. So let's go back now and find the capacitor. So it was one of these. Thankfully, I wrote that down somewhere. CO2, 5024, RX44, RX44, that's that one. Let's put it up. There it is. And we do the same thing again. We select it, edit, copy, new package, and we go C025 dash O2 4 X044 open H. So we know exactly what we're doing. It's a new package. Just click on uh, package. Bing. Oh, we've already done that bit. Okay. Create a new package. Yes. Edit. Paste. Ta da. And uh, that's it. Now, of course, one. Oh, and we need to associate it with uh, with the capacitor. C E U. Okay. Add a new variance. Not that guy. That'd be embarrassing if we put that in. But him. Okay. Double click on him. Go connect. Connect. Okay. And that's it. Wonderful. We've and let's pull that up. We haven't specified a variance. Uh, I never bothered doing that. I'm not actually even certain what it does. But um, um, that's it. So wonderful. We've cre we've created our two new um, our two new packages. But of course they're identical. So we need to come in now and uh, and actually edit them and change them. So. Let's double click on that one. So there's our pad. And if I click on info and select the pad, I had to click twice there. It tells me that the uh, the drill it's using is uh, 0 0.032 of an inch. Fair enough. It's probably got some sensible metric equivalent. Uh, the diameter of the pad itself is being automatically generated based on the, the drill. Well, we're going to uh, change that and choose a different size. What size? Hmm, don't really know at the moment. Let's um, let's put in a number just at random and see what it comes out like. Oh, that's smaller. That's not what we want. So at least we know what's uh, what's going on. How about that? Oh, that's nice. Quite big. It's much bigger than this one now. I really won't have any problems. Um, soldering onto that and then the other nice thing is that there with that much copper left there will be quite a bit of uh, mass um, thermal mass uh, to um, uh, to take the heat from your soldering iron uh, I have had experiences where it's been incredibly difficult to actually uh, apply heat to that copper to get the solder to well for it to get it warm and then for the solder to melt on both the lead and the pad. So you really quit in doing this. This is a great idea. Uh, that's that's quite large, but uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. We're not exactly doing some complex surface mount uh, design. So um, uh, let's uh, let's run with that. Although just for a laugh, just to amuse myself, let's try a slightly smaller one. Do you know what? I think that looks better. So let's uh, oops. let's go with that. Where you get the choice of two, you select the one that you're interested in pressing the right key. Um, that's why I had to click twice earlier. So I select that again. Yeah, we're going to go with um, 076. That's that's a nice amount of copper. Great. Uh, let's go back now and try the capacitor. There we go. And we'll do the same thing. Info. And we're going to try with... 76. Obviously, what I'm going to be looking for here is that these leads are quite close together. We don't want to um, uh, to run into them. That's quite close. I think I'd like a little bit more of a gap there. I forget. I'm 
etching these by hand. So let's just, in this case, go to slightly smaller diameter. Pad. How's that? Yeah, that looks, that looks good. Okay. Uh, we can close this now. It will, of course, prompt us to save. Okay, yes. Um, obviously, nothing's changed in this diagram because of two things. One, we haven't updated our schematic with the references to the changed library. So I'll do that now. I'll simply type update RCL and press return. You see here it says schematic modified at the bottom. Uh, that's because it's recognized that a couple of the components that I've used have changed within the library. Um, at the moment, the actual packages that I've used have not changed, but we're going to change that now. So let's go click on change, uh, package, and now click on the resistor and go to the H1. Bingo, much bigger, uh, much bigger pads. I'm going to move that back over. Not you, not you. Press escape. Let's try again. Um, fine. There we go. You can see, you can see now um, the pads are so big they're actually touching the um, some of the other components. So I've got to be careful here now. I'm going to press the. Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to press the Alt key so I can move with a, a little bit finer precision. I believe, and just position it about there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, likewise, we can do the change <coughs> package, click on the capacitor and find the X version. OK, and now move it back into place. Let's give a little bit more space there. Okay, how's that? Yes, that's good. Um, so let's have a look how much copper have we got to make sure we've got enough uh, clearances there. Yes, we have. So that's it. Um, that's how you modify, well, indeed, that's how you create new packages and how you add them to a device and how you use them inside your schematic. Thank you very much for listening. Please go and have a look at some of the other tutorials because, of course, I cover the um, the whole board schematic uh, creation within Eagle CAD uh, as part of the magazine article series. Thanks for listening. Bye.